Anthony from AJ Autosports. We have a 2000 Evo 6. The 2006 Evo 6 RS uh, sent to us from the US Virgin Islands to do a full custom build. The full specs of the car, we have our AG spec 2 liter short block utilizing a manly billet crank. We're using custom GRP aluminum rods and an AG spec Wiseco piston. Um, our head consists of an in-house port, mild port, nothing too crazy. Um, we're using a Kelford 288 camshaft, Supertech custom spring rate. Uh, springs and retainers. Our turbo kit is built by Rich Auto Works Raw Racing. It's a custom AG spec turbo kit forward facing. We're using a precision 7685 Gen 2 turbocharger. Right now the car is producing around 1255 wheel horsepower on 64 pounds of boost. a vibrant six inch four race intercooler custom made all the fabrication work on the car the catch can the intercooler the piping all that was done by Brian from Extreme Motorsports he's our local fabricator we're using a driven innovations eight injector intake manifold with the Ross machine racing 83.5 millimeter throttle body we're using a twin tile blow off valves on here single tile 44 millimeter wastegate we're not really concerned at this level for regulating too much boost we want all the boost we can get ID 2000 CC injectors, we're using eight of them in the driven manifold. We're using a welding fuel pump. Drive shaft shop rear axles in the car, the level five pro axles. We have a Magnus Racing lower rear subframe. This car I'm doing something a little custom on. I'm putting a Evo 8 transfer case in it. The Evo 6 parts that they, the four through six upgraded parts they make for this car are known to not be very strong. So we're going to bypass all that problems and I'm going to make a custom subframe for the car and put a Evo 8 transfer case on the car so we can go to the what we know instead of testing new stuff. We have a PPG 4-speed dog box in here. Very, very streetable car, nothing over the top. It's not your typical race car build. It's more of a street car build with very high horsepower. We're not chasing any dreams or chasing any numbers, but I'm hoping for the car to run a bottom eight, maybe high seven second pass if we're lucky. We're using a Xetti triple disc HD clutch in the car. Some people don't prefer that, but it's what's always worked for us, so it's the clutch of my choice to run in, in these high horsepower cars. Uh, when the car was originally sent to us, the customer gave me an open book. He said, build the car as if it was your own, um, and so I did. <laughs> streetable car has full working windows all all working interior nothing is missing from the inside of the car the car was built for safety obviously so it has a full roll cage in it has a parachute has everything to run the times that we want to run in the car but you can detach the parachute and still drive it around on the street as if it was a regular everyday car
car is utilizing a Haltech engine management system, tuned and wired in by Chris Speed. When we first started tuning the car, first pulls on the dyno on wastegate. The car is around 18, 19 pounds. The car made 710 wheel horsepower on wastegate. Very shortly after, we increased the boost, reaching a maximum boost of 63 and a half, 64 pounds. The car made 1,255 wheel horsepower. The tires were spinning very badly on the dyno. The car will produce significant amount more power if we can get it to hook but we're not chasing a number we want to run a you know a good time at the track we'll, we'll do the rest of the tuning there the reason we ran decided to run the 7685 um, I ran the 86 on my personal car and not that it was not a good turbo for the the combination but this guy wanted more of a streetable car more than he did a drag car I think the 86 is a great turbo for a drag car but for something that you're going to be driving on the street, the 76 comes in to boost a lot better. Plus it was the same size turbocharger we ran on the Colt. And you know, the Colt has a very similar horsepower and, and setup to this car. Same turbo size, same fuel system. And you remember we went 790 with that car. mile an hour that was a full street car as well so we're hoping to run something very similar with this car a lot of the thought behind the build process on this car came from our, our green street car the family car that we had that car on a very similar turbo kit same turbo size same fuel system everything uh, we made 1291 wheel horsepower in that car soccer games in that car and everything that that was a very fun car um, that's how I met the customer that we're dealing with now Jim who is the owner of this car he wanted something very similar build for this car he, he wanted something that could go to the track run a crazy time and he could get in it and drive it to the grocery store if he wanted to not that it's ideal not that everybody would take their forward-facing 76 millimeter turbo car to the grocery store but if they wanted to it can be done and, and that's that's the goal he was going for and I believe we accomplished it. On the dyno we used a set of BBS SE wheels with uh, Falcon as any tires just regular street tires for the dyno they normally work the best on the dyno in this case after about 1200 horsepower we were having traction issues on the dyno we're going to be running this car on a set of Wolf T37 wheels with M&H 24 and a half inch race masters on here we normally run the Mickey Thompson 26 inch slick unfortunately with this chassis we cannot fit the 26 inch tire on here so we may be fighting some traction issues on the track compared to what we're normally used to seeing so we may have a, a couple you know, obstacles in front of us as far as traction with this type of horsepower but I guess until we get it on the track we won't know. Our friend Jaime from JC Race Cars in West Palm Beach he did an impeccable job on the roll cage in a crazy amount of time. He literally built this cage in, in two days for us and we were in a big rush with this car to try to get it done so we can make this uh, pusher shootout that we're going to in a couple weeks and uh, he, he was perfect and, and got the thing done in an impeccable time. I've been building Evos for a very long time, 10 plus years know them in and out but this one was a little unique to me because this is the first time we built one you know an Evo 6 especially such a rare car this is an Evo 6 RS and if I'm not mistaken they've only made 76 of these cars ever in the entire world so it's a left-hand drive car from the Caribbean um, so it was very very fun and very exciting to build this car like I'm, I'm very excited to see what this car is gonna run I had a lot of fun building it. Alright guys so we got the uh, Evo 6 here and Anthony's gonna run us through some of the modifications they're gonna make here. So what do you, what do we what do we got? What do you what do you custom fit in here? Well, well unfortunately, they don't make um, a ring and pinion that I consider to be strong enough to hold this kind of horsepower. So we're custom modifying the subframe and the tunnel a little bit to put an Evo 8 transfer case inside of here. Awesome. Yeah, we're doing everything in house right now. It's kind of a last minute uh, change of plans. Uh, we couldn't get the other gears in time that we were gonna attempt to use, but. Uh, last minute change of plans to make the shootout. We're uh, doing everything here in-house right now. Nice, so doing some 
some custom work there, some chopping. Yes, sir. Whatever it takes to make it happen. Got some Will Woods. Let's see how big that intercooler is. It's a big boy. Six inch intercooler there. 7685. This thing is freaking awesome, guys. I cannot wait to see this thing go down the track. So after they finish putting it all together, we're gonna follow them to the track and we're gonna start making some test hits. Hopefully I'll be able to go along for a ride along here. Um, I'd be super stoked for that. Never been in an Evo 6, let alone one that makes, uh, you know, 1,250 all wheel horsepower, you know, 1,400 or so or plus at the crank. Crazy to say, out of a little four banger. Um, but yeah, stay tuned guys. More videos on this coming soon.